What's up guys, it's Hipster Vlog here, and welcome to another video, another transfer thing. Um, I haven't done one of these since I've been back, uh, so this is my first transfer vlog since January, my first transfer vlog of the summer transfer window, and I'm in a bit of a changing setting, this is just a fridge that comes with spray, I thought I might as well set up down, downstairs, I didn't do a video downstairs, I'll set up in my room, I'm down here anyway. Um, there's a few things I want to talk about. Um, first, uh, I just want to say if you are, want, because I'm not, I'm not very regular in my videos, I'm doing probably six videos now, but it's just a bit easier. If you want to see my full things at all on a more consistent basis, go over, follow me on Twitter, at Clarky11 underscore 98, I'll leave it in the description below. Um, also please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, also, subscribe, also, um, Please comment any transfer rumours you want me to cover in future episodes of Transfer Talk. Now let's get straight into the main story of this episode and that's going to be is Tom Cleverley to Arsenal and Thomas Lamarman going the other way. Now I've got a talk sport page up here. Uh, it says Red Devils midfielder will be going through a difficult season last year and for some fans he could do no wrong. So I imagine their excitement are full. Cleverley could be included in a deal, but Arsenal defender Thomas Lamarlin, with England international heading in the opposite direction. Now, uh, that's an incredible story to me. First of all, why would Arsenal want Tom Cleverley? They've got better midfielders. I'm not sure if you've got Ori Ar Ori Aramanti, Mikko Arteta, Jack Wilshere, uh, let's see, Mamini. They've got all of those players better than Tom Cleverley, in my opinion, and in most people's opinions. And then why would you give away your club captain? I know he's in Juve for club, but he's still a fantastic defender. Okay, he's not Drew, he's not Zaka and uh, Koscielny, but he's still a great defender. Why do you give him away and have Cleverley as part of the deal? Why wouldn't you just pay more money for him? You know? Why, like, I'd imagine it would be maybe somewhere up to... Five million plus cleverly. Why don't you just take like the ten million without cleverly or something like that? It's so much a better deal because cleverly is not good enough to get a starting in midfield. He's not even good enough to be like a bench normal player. Because they've got better players on the bench than cleverly. You know they've got centre four, they've got Mesut Ozil, they've got Aaron Ramsey, Wilshere. They're all good start eleven players. They've got Matthew Flamini, Mikel Arteta. Uh, you know they've got such a good. Midfield. Midfield is one of the things that Arsenal don't really boo on at all. And Tom Cleverley, I mean, he's not going to improve many people's midfields, honestly. Um, and this would be a great deal with Man United getting two of one of the great defenders. It would be a great replacement for once Giggs or Ferdinand. Um, but he's. Why would. Why do Arsenal get rid of Vermaelen for Cleverley? If they get rid of Vermaelen and get the maximum amount of money you can get for Vermaelen, but why have Cleverley as long as the deal? There's no need for Cleverley to be involved in the deal unless uh, Man United are really, really desperate to get rid of him, which I can see being true. Um, and then one of the other transfers in this video, I'm going to talk about the Cholton transfer. Uh, apparently, this has only just come in as I'm making this video. Uh, we have it has been accepted from FC Copenhagen, no, bought <laughs> from Tottenham to FC Copenhagen a striker, e Eagle, let me just look up the name quickly, Eagle Rudger Kelly. Um, Rudger Kelly is a, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm, I'm guessing, he's an Angola, Angolian striker, 22 years of age. Currently bound for FC Copenhagen, played for uh, Bob Peters' old club, Stokel Bruges. I don't know, again, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, so Stokel Bruges, whoever that is. I know it's a Belgian team, just like, I don't know, can't pronounce the name. Um, they both been played under Bob Peters at that club. Bob Peters obviously has gone looking for him. Um, and he looks a decent player. 16 goals in 44 games overall for for FC Copenhagen, 13 goals in 29 games last season for the Superligan, uh, which I believe is Danish First Division, 
Um, and he looks so happy to play. Also got the championship Champions League experience against Real Madrid only for a couple of minutes. But still, it's, you know, it's not... Um, well, he, played, he came on in the 90th minute against Real Madrid and he played in the second half against Galatasaray. So he has got some Champions League experience also. So it could be a potential really good sign. It's whether he will feel his potential to be a really good sign is another story. Obviously, um, generally players don't feel the potential that something special when it comes to going to Charlton. Uh, Radical Shadow Shad obviously had a lot of potential but hasn't really done anything. He's still got a cut. He still might do it next season. Uh, the the Paris P that was he signed for a lot, a lot of money. I know he's only young, but he should be in the first team. If he's getting interest from like Benfica or West Ham, you know he should be in the first team in the Championship. Um, you know, so it's just whether he will fulfil his potential in in go. Whether I go fulfil his potential, I'm just gonna go for my guy because it's Fred Pescade or whatever his name is. I'm not. I'm just gonna put my guy. Um, he looked potentially really good. Good goal scoring record. Um, the Danish first to finish then is probably about the level of the championship, maybe a bit lower. So whether he will adapt and be a good English league player is yet to be seen, but I'm going to give him a chance, I'm sure. I'm, I'm quite, yeah, I'm not sure at all. I'm trying to see this. Um, in terms of the deals I've missed that I haven't covered, um, that have already happened, obviously Ivan Rakitic to Barcelona, Diego Costa to Chelsea, that's to be next to done. Uh, Cesc Fabregas to Chelsea also, some very good signings. Um, I guess that will be the end of this video, guys. Please leave a like, please comment what what transfer news you'd like me to cover in future episodes. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me over on Twitter. And this is the Vlogger, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.